we came down to the absolute wire and everything is complete. But I've got some bad news, bro. Alright, so this is episode six. This is the final episode of Killer Mike's Grind National. We have four days until the Grammy Awards. The car's still not done. And my 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 question is, is why? There was a lot done to this point, but there's still there was still there's still a lot left to go. All the little details, the finishing touches, yeah. right? There's some rubber trims that need to go on. The interior needs to get buttoned up. Uh, the exhaust needs to get finished welded. Uh, some brake lines. Do you have brakes? Okay, so that's, here's the thing. We don't have the brakes as of yet, okay. but we are running brake lines. Dude, it's Wednesday. Brakes are supposed to show up tomorrow. Uh, wheels, tires? I just picked up tires today. Wheels right. are done. We've seen those. Uh, oh, just gotta get those mounted. And once we get the brakes on, then we can test fit. But I mean, I've already measured everything. We should be good to go on that front. And so, yeah, man, we're getting there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the car. We're gonna finish up a lot of, well, Ron and I are gonna do some of the moldings and the, and the weather stripping. Subi's gonna finish everything else everything else yeah we are building the exhaust right now the guys are welding up right now we just finished making the x-pipe the down tube right. so all that other little stuff but we'll try and get out of your way but make it quick well here's the deal fact of this matter is in this episode you're gonna see us finish the car road test of the car mike's gonna show up and then we're gonna go to the grammys that's it that's it so only a few things to do so just go grab a really comfortable chair and a bunch of drinks and just hang on for the ride because it is gonna be a good one So Angelo is making the exhaust right now. So he's starting with the down tubes that's coming off the manifolds. And then he's gonna come right underneath here. We have to make an X pipe and then out to the two mufflers. <laughs> Driveline specialties came out yesterday. Jacob came out, he measured. We went through the travel of the suspension so he knows how much slip to put in there. They just dropped this off about 30 minutes ago. So we're bringing it down. We're gonna put some transmission fluid in it, put some coolant in it, start it, and then do a gear test. I'm just gonna start it in this because We don't have brakes to slow this transmission down once it starts moving. We are gonna fire it up because it has to be running to check the level of the trends. We are confident that everything is going to work. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Engine starts, the transmission works. Once we get brakes, we're gonna test drive. And that would be tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully everything goes well and we're in the parking lot. Yeah, that's it. We're in the parking lot doing... Donuts. Yes. This morning I came in a bit early. To my surprise, there was a little note on the door. It was from our UPS guy. He said he tried to deliver our package, which we all know is the brakes. We got everybody calling the UPS store and trying to intercept these brakes because we need them today. Because the test drive is today, we need brakes now. Angelo's killing it on the exhaust. I'm gonna finish up the brake lines so we're all ready for when we track down the UPS guy and get our brake kit. All right, so the brakes arrived from Bear. We had to work out some logistics to get them here, but we've got three of the four corners of brakes. So one is lost or somewhere in transit between here and their facility in Arizona. But uh, I'm super anxious to open these things up and see what we're working with here. I ordered their 6S6 piston caliper kit with 14 inch rotors front and rear. Already assembled on modified spindles. So these are two inch drop spindles. This thing is massive. They're also beautiful. So I specified their Olympic gold powder coat that should coordinate with all of our gold underhood uh, trim and accessories. I mean, this was literally the last piece of the puzzle and if these didn't arrive today, I don't know that we would have made the deadline, honestly. Soupy and the boys can jump on these and it's probably gonna take them most of the rest of today to get the brakes installed. 
All right, so what's going on back here is I'm trying to figure out how to take the axles out of our rear end because for the new brakes to go on, I gotta take the axles out, take the old dust covers off because the new brake kit slides on before the axle goes in. Put the axle back in, bolt the brakes on, done and done. All right, so you see here, we got two holes already. We got four holes here. So you can't put that on like that because this little ear is on the top. So I have to drill these holes out. I'm gonna have to cut this. And then this guy can fit onto the axle like that. Press. Just like that, we installed some bare brakes. It's a complete unit, so it comes with the knuckle, the brakes already on, pads already in. All I gotta do is just put it onto the control arms, hook up the steering, and it's done. I really like that color. Yeah. That looks really good. There you go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to run with no caps in yep. the front. Yeah. Ooh, that, the brakes look good in there, though. Yeah, yeah. It has been an extremely long day. So I'm finishing up the brakes on the passenger side tonight. Grim is gonna get through the rear brakes. Angelo should be done with most of the exhaust. He has to hang two mufflers tomorrow. So we're a little behind. I wanted to get this thing down on the ground today with some wheels and just roll it around the shop, but I guess that's gonna be for tomorrow. <laughs> the last brake is here. So that is the, the fourth package that was missing out of our delivery yesterday. That's gonna go on first thing this morning. Angelo is finishing up the exhaust. Mike and Ron are reupholstering the front seats. We got a kit from Classic Industries. There is new covers and new foam that has to go in. It's gonna be interesting. You see this? Lunch is on me. When you are doing something like this, especially on older cars, take pictures of things like springs and retention clips and stuff like that. This way, after you take it apart, you know how to put it back together, especially if you haven't done it in a while, which I have not. As I said earlier, I'm really good at taking stuff apart, but when it comes to putting stuff back together, sometimes I need a little help, especially when it comes to upholstery. So what we did was we called the guys from New Lines Upholstery down in Huntington Beach, California. Hey man, how you doing? They're gonna restuff the driver's seat, which we have the padding for. They're gonna put on our new covers from Classic Industries, and then we're gonna get the seats back in the car. So gentlemen, thank you very much. I'll get out of your way. You guys do what you do. No problem, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mike, you're doing a great job on the upholstery. Well, seats are done. There you go. They look a hell of a lot better than they did them than if Ron and myself tried to do it by ourselves. So while Soupy and the team are doing a bunch of the mechanics or finishing up the car, Ron and I are gonna handle a lot of the stuff that, well, Ron and I can handle. And right now, that means we're gonna redo the weather stripping. So this weather stripping is just all busted up and tattered. It's, it's 37 years old, man. It's, it's shot. So what we did was we contacted our friends at Seal Rubber Products. They sent us some new seals for the whole car. So right now we're gonna get started with the trunk. Let's get after it. I don't know if there's really a science to this or you just split it, you pull it. That's the beauty of doing this stuff. These are little kind of DIY things that they're so easy to do. Huh. Okay. We're out. Trunk seal. I Done. would like to clean up the trunks around there before we put the, yeah. uh, the new weather stripping in. So the cool part about a product like this is you go to their website, you type in whatever vehicle you have. If they have a product for it, it's gonna come up, ship it right to you. It takes 15 minutes to install, and that's with removing the old stuff after you clean the surface. Obviously, make sure you do that, like Ron said, and that's it. Now that the seal's installed, you cut it right here, put it back on, seal it down, close the truck, and literally 
That's as easy as it gets, just like that. So on the door seals, to do it properly, we're gonna pop the door panel off. This way we can get in there and unscrew everything without ripping everything apart. I'm just gonna start popping panels, remove every screw that I can see, try and pull with just enough force. There we go. Yep. This is super easy stuff that anybody can do. All you have to do is be willing to learn and don't feel like you have to take everything to a mechanic because you can do this in your garage. I don't even mind doing this. Like this is, I wouldn't call it enjoyable, but it's definitely not a drag. There we go. There you go. See how they pop like that? So these seals, all these seals are gonna take a little while to just settle in, but like, new door seals. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Angelo finished the exhaust, he put the hangers on. I finished up the rear brake line, Alex filled up the rear end. So we're gonna let it down, tighten that brake line, and start bleeding brakes. Give me five pumps and hold, Angelo. Hold. Again. Yeah, that's all right. That's right. That could live if we cut the inner fender. What are we doing? If I cut the inner fender out, that would live. And that would live. Go, 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 go. Stop. Oh, he's off. We're good, we're good. So we're just shaking down the car. We know we have to raise the rear suspension up a little bit. It's rubbing in the back. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna raise the suspension and also fender roll the rear a little bit. It steers great. It stops great. It makes cool noises. We gotta get it cleaned up tomorrow and then Mike will be driving it to the Grammys. Saturday morning. We got our boy Omar from Cruise Mobile Wash. He's gonna wash it, wax it, he's gonna do his thing. Here's a really quick comparison between the stock halogen headlights and the Holly Retro Brights, which are LEDs, which have a lot more light output, but actually use a lot less energy. These are plug and play. They snap right into the, the factory sockets and screw on with, uh, with these bezels right here. So, I mean, it's literally so easy. Mike and I can do it. Screw it up. We've got the new grill in from Classic Industries. We reused the, the stock grill emblem, but we've got the new headlight surrounds and corner markers from Classic Industries, along with our Holly Retro Bright headlights. And now it's time to do some steel rubber products and do the door seal. So we're gonna do those right now. What do we need? Uh, fill set for that? Uh, a stack of 50s and a cup of coffee. Okay, <laughs> well, you're gonna have to settle for a Phillips set. <laughs> <laughs> Right now what the guys are doing is they're trying to get the transmission to shift. What's happening? Uh, we're having transition issues. Yeah. And it's not shifting, and like the stall is high on the converter. It's something weird going on inside that transmission. Like this transmission was basically a holdover that was laying in the shop that was built for another project. And we thought we'd scored a free transmission, but we had unknown origin, unknown specs, unknown condition, unknown converter <laughs> stall speed. Mm -hmm. Like that transmission was an absolute mystery to all of us. And there was no way to get those questions answered other than throwing it in and just seeing if it worked and it kind of worked but you had sort of Until you know, all sorts of tuning issues yeah yeah I, I, I we found out it's a manual valve body so you need a shifter so we're trying to make the shifter last night and it didn't was know just the stall yeah i didn't know what stall it was we're, we're, we're raising line pressures and we're, we're doing whatever we can at the moment to try to make it work all right so, but but here's the deal mike is literally on his way here he'll be here, he'll be here any minute 
but we have a plan. So Soupy called in troops and called in a favor and mm -hmm. basically scored us a 4L80E, the same transmission that's in here, but a stock rebuilt one, one that you know should handle the power and that we know the specs of. Mm -hmm. And um, we should be able to make that work tonight. So the plan for the reveal is basically to BS Mike, you know, pretend to be sad that the car is not gonna make it to the Grammys. And we've got a bunch of Grand Nationals staged a couple blocks away. They're all gonna pull in, mob the lot and make a bunch of noise, kind of take Mike's yep. attention away from what we have going on here. While he's looking at all these cars pull up, we'll roll the doors up and Soupy will blast this thing out of the garage. We'll eventually tell Mike the plan, but um, for now, it's uh, I think it's all about the surprise. I hate delivering bad news. <laughs> That's the most relaxing drive in all of LA, man. So what you bro, man. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome. Thank y'all, man. You might be wondering why we changed plans so many times and brought you back to the shop. You've been here before, there ain't nothing you haven't seen, right? We're, but I've got some bad news, bro. Well, we came it, down we, to the absolute wire. The car runs, drives, but it doesn't shift. So we, we had, no, no, it, we, we, it does, but it just doesn't show. <laughs> basically what happened was we, we put the transmission in it and we can't get the valve body to work. So we can get basically one gear out of it and that's why we couldn't get it down to the beach. So it's literally you, a cruiser. It, like 35 yeah. miles, <laughs> maybe 30 mile an hour cruiser, but. Two miles an hour. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, oh, shit. Yeah. Well, what's so, that? What's that? Oh, wow. You guys got the Buick Club out. <laughs> this is probably the next best thing to a bunch of girls would look like. Wow. So, I was just messing with you, bro. No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, hey. Ooh, I was wrong about the rims. Let me say that first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what, up, what up, man? Right. How Thank are you? you for the last month of your life. Man. No worries, man. So you know it's an LT4, Holly EFI, 4L80, dry sump. It's got all the accessories. So you got AC, you got power steering, you got hydraulic brakes. Oh, so man. this thing is, man, it's amazing. Yeah, man. Full QA1 suspension underneath. So it rides really nice. This is dope. Oh, man. When do we get to drive it? <laughs> this is, you're gonna drive it tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. man. Obviously, you know, the black car, it's factory paint, but, you know, we tried to spice it up a little bit with some Grammy gold here and there. Now, I see, look, the Grind National. This is what y'all ain't like, people right here. The meaning behind Grind National is your record label. Yeah, Grind Time Records, yeah. But it also signifies, you know, the grind of your career. Get rich independently. To yeah. achieve, you know, the, the ability to buy your dream car. Absolutely. Drive it to the Grammys. Absolutely. And, you know, the grind that really went into it for the last 30 plus that, days. Yeah, man, thank y'all. This is amazing, man. So you got 14 inch bears, front and rear, six piston calipers, forged with transparent gold powder coat. Did y'all wax it though? The, the paint looks a little glossier. Factory paint? <laughs> my, my man Omar hooked up the detail, man. Oh, hey brother, thank you, man. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, you the man. <laughs> so it's still pretty much stock interior. We did get new seat covers from Classic Industries. I definitely think I got the most beautiful Grind National out here. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. I for real. Fucking mean it, man. Thank you so yeah, much. Man. Buying transmissions out of the back of a truck right now. Killer Mike just left. The fury of pulling a transmission and putting a new one in is full on. It's already out of the car. So we called up Sal. Sal had one rebuilt sitting at his shop. He delivered it. Everybody's on it. We got Bucky over there. He's checking all our wiring and whatnot. I think another 20 minutes and we're ready to fill and try this thing. I think we got that transmission in and out within an hour. We're ready to fill and try this thing. We got reverse. We got first, second, third, fourth. 
about to drive it on the street? We're testing the car. We're getting it street tuned. I feel so much better, man. Killer Mike's got a good car. That car's running, and it's, it, dude, it's <laughs> so good. I knew it when I saw it outside, but dude, y'all killed this. It's so That's good. Mike's gonna drive it one time and be like, this is the daily. That's it. It's, no joke, one of the best cars I've ever driven. Like, this is exactly what I expected in the end, and you guys absolutely delivered. <laughs> Get some in the tank. <laughs> So LA traffic, picking up a celebrity, and he's gonna be driving it to the Grammys. There's no pressure at all. And a car that, that we built in three and a half weeks, and we just finished it last night. I haven't been this nervous in a while, dude. Almost there, right in the whole stretch. Two blocks away, two blocks away. All right, so we, we finally made it. We are literally at the JW Marriott, getting ready for Mike to come out for the Grammys. Really quick, Ron, give, give me your thoughts, because this was, this was a road. Dude, it's, it's nerve wracking. I mean, we're so close to the end here. Like, you know, I can taste it and it, it's super exciting, but we're gonna have to sit in a, a bit of traffic, even though we're only going a couple blocks to Crypto yeah. Arena. That's nerve wracking, but dude, I'm, I've never been more excited for the culmination of a project. Ooh. I, I, I'm almost lost for words. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm like, I'm watching this thing sit in traffic for the first time. <laughs> Mike, we're so thrilled for you. Your baby's right here, just waiting for you to come out, man. So. You've won no matter what. Yeah. But hopefully oh. you have some hardware to take home in this thing tonight. Absolutely. What's up? Oh, moment is here, bro. What's, What's up, up, man? What's up? What's up, Mike? Rhonda, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? This is it. That's it. Keys are ready for you, sir. Happy man right there. This is like going to prom. I can speak for all of us when I say that was one of the most stressful things we've ever done in our entire lives. Yeah. I'm blown away. I mean, I'm really, I'm speechless. Like everything worked out perfectly. The car performed just as it should. Mike got a, had a chance to do some burnouts on the way. Yes, and he really, did. Really push the car and have fun with it. So I know he's elated right now and I'm just hoping he has, you know, more reason to celebrate tonight. So here's the thing, Mike, you know that we adore you. We will build you anything you want. However, next time, we just want more than a mark. That's all we're asking. <laughs> Please. Please. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe to the Hemings YouTube channel. We're going to bring you more amazing content. Obviously, these two guys, you're going to be seeing a little bit more of them. I promise you that. It's the Grind National, man. That's what it was. Killer Mike. Yes! Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes! Oh, man! This has been a day. Yes! Yes! Oh, Yo, three for three. You can't tell me. You cannot tell me. You cannot tell me that you get too old. You can't tell me it's too late. You can't tell me.